There is another wrinkle in the plans to get remote workers back to the office. The MSPCA released the results of a new poll of 500 Massachusetts pet owners that finds a whopping 92% want to be able to bring pets to the office, but a full three quarters say their offices are not pet friendly. Kara Holmquist, director of advocacy for the MSPCA, joins us now live. Good morning, Kara. Tell us what prompted the poll. Good morning. Thank you for having me on today. Well, as we re-envision the workspace, um, people going back to work, going back hybrid um, post-pandemic, and combined with last Friday being Take Your Dog to Work Day, we thought it was a really good time to uh, talk about pets in the workplace. And the MSPCA has in implemented a successful policy, and we've learned a lot from that. And we're really hoping to share that so more companies and employers consider adopting a pet-friendly policy. Didn't know that last Friday was take your dog to work day. Not being a dog owner, own cats, but let's get to more of the numbers here. 53% of those surveyed say they would consider leaving their current job to join an organization with a pet friendly office policy. Did that number surprise you? And why do you think so many workers want their pets at the office? Sure, it, it really doesn't surprise me. Um, I think especially people who have been working at home are used to being with their pets and are really concerned about what will happen when they leave their animal home all day. Um, I think it's a great benefit to have pets in work, particularly our dogs provide us with um, they help with stress. Um, they help with stress at both at work, but also worrying about what the dog is doing during the day. It can be a real benefit and help save uh, staff money from hiring a dog walker um, or uh, sending their dog to doggy daycare. We've really found some great benefits. I know at the MSPCA, we've really enjoyed meeting people from other departments. I know I've met people I would have never met before um, because I know, now know their dogs. And we've also found that bringing a dog in on a routine basis is, is really helpful. Uh, the dog is more likely to settle if they're used to being in the office. And Kara, the, the thing is that not everyone likes dogs, though. Some people might find them disruptive. Others may have significant allergies. So do you have any advice to help mitigate the potential conflicts within the office and pets in the office? Absolutely. So what we did was we surveyed employees to see how they felt about pets in the office. We formed a committee that consists of both people who bring in their animals or wanted to bring in their animals and those that don't, and also created a pilot program. So we were able to test out this policy, troubleshoot it and see how it works. And we do have rules and guidelines in place. Um, you know, a dog should be suitable for the office that might require some training but before it becomes an office pet. Um, and always, you know, we are primarily a workplace and that we we have to be considerate and make sure everybody can still do their jobs. But it's worked out really, really well with very minimal conflicts. And we're really happy. And I think our staff is really happy to have this benefit. Well, it will be interesting to see if other companies follow suit now. Kara Holmquist, Director of Advocacy for the MSPCA. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. Thank you.